Good evening everybody. My name is Dave. I'm Canyon on Searching and I've come yet again to my local beach for a little go. All the rocks amongst me. And I've got my first signal. I'm going to turn you around now. We'll have a little look together. Here we go. It was a 27, and you know what a 27 is. What it normally is. Oh, look, there's a little baby crab there, wants to claim it. It's my coin. I'm not getting too excited. It looks green and crusty, but it's just a little old 2p. But I'm up and running with the coin. So, to me, that's a good little start. Anyway, let's see if we can find some proper history. Okay, Nigel's got me a target here, a solid 19. Can be a fishing weight, can it, on the uh, on the good old beach? But look, what have we got? What have we? Oh, what have we got? I thought it was a big old penny. Look at that. That's a proper little tag, isn't it? Is that a bus tag or a miner's tag or something? Yeah, hey, tell you, tell you what. Hang on. Um, is that H S C? I think that's like a bus tag or something. I tell you what, I'm I'm pleased with that. I like that. That's a nice little find. Woo! Moving on. I'm going to trial this low part before the uh, tide comes in and go as far up there as I can. A number 16. Right there to dig it right out of that little puddle. But look, it's a nice little bit of World War II history. Bit of a bullet casing. It's more like it. Getting onto the history now. It's hard going in the mud like, but um, let's see what else we can find. 1920, this signal was. And I was only just thinking, oh, I've never found a musket ball on this actual beach. And then look what pops up here. But I think, I tell you what, I think that's sent to fool me. I'm pretty sure that's a ball bearing, not lead. I'll test it out when I get home, but it feels too smooth, that. I think it's a ball bearing. But you never know. I shall check it. Nice little find, whatever it is. Hmm. Okay. Let's target 1718. Didn't have much uh, hope for this, but um, there it is. A little bullet. Second bullet casing. But there's bullet casing. Surely, there's got to be a few old coins. I'll try in there, but it could get messy. Okay, Nigel's got me a target here. 23, 24. Pretty shallow. I was thinking, oh, could this be a little old pound coin or something? But look. Look. It looks a bit coin shaped. But 23, 24 for that. What have I found? Hmm. Oh, it's copper. It's copper, 23, 24. Oh dear. It's going to be a rusty, crusty one pence, isn't it? I was starting to get a bit excited then. Never mind, I'll clean it up just in case, but if I'm not back, you know, it's just a rusty, crusty one p. Hmm. Next little find. I've come all the way from there. Made me way to here. A solid 15. And there it is. What have we got? We've had two bullet casings. And we've got a little bullet tip. Nice. No more coins yet though. Here we are, number 14, next target. Surface find. And it's another one of these little... Whatever they are. I think it's lead. I wonder if they're like ingots because... Lead used to be traded from here. And transshipped. So I wonder if that's a little bit of history. And they, um, they transported them in that sort of form. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'd be most intrigued. Now this target is very interesting. 21, 22, it was banging, banging sound. And I've just fished it out there. And it's looking coin-like. 
It's got it round. But what is it? Seriously, what? Oh my word. It's not. Do I see... Is that a seriously, seriously old coin? I've got a funny feeling it is, you know. Oh, that monarch. It looks like it's facing right. Oh my word. Oh my word, what have I found? I'll clean it up a little bit. As best I dare. Very thin, look at it. Hang on, let's just give it a little gentle wash. See if it comes up any clearer. Absolutely banging tone. <gasps> oh. Is that a silver coin? Is it? Is it? I've got a funny feeling it is, you know. Oh. Look, look at the monarch. It is. Oh my word. It's facing right. I suspected coins like this might be here. I really... Oh, look, look, look. Oh, yes. That is a shilling from... It's not George II shilling, is it? <gasps> what a flooding. Oh, my... Oh, <laughs> what have I found? Oh, my word, am I buzzing? Searching it in the clay. Oh, I'll be coming back here, all right. What an absolutely outstanding find. I think that's my oldest ever silver. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going to have to calm down. Oh, Nigel, you little star. That was a banging sound. Oh, I'm going to give it a bit more searching here. Oh, calm down, calm down. Next signal, scratchy 1920. I'm still getting over that coin. Well, trying to. But, but next, next signal, like I say, 1920 down here, and look what it is again. I'm sure that's a ball bearing and not a musket ball. But it's my second one. It's got to have some significance because it's exactly the same size as the other one. Hmm. Intriguing. Anyway. I don't think it's going to be long before I'm calling it a day, but what a dig. What a dig. My best silver ever. Oh. Calm down. I'll just I'll just swing my coil on the way back and uh, you never know. You never know. Okay, swinging as I go on the way back. 2021. And this is coming. What have we here? Have we got an old half penny? I think we might have. I'll be cleaning that up and I'll be right back. And I'm back. And look who it is. King George V smiling at me. Good day to you, sir. Nice little half penny. It's not a bad way to finish the dig. Nice. Well, that's the end of the dig for me today. And that's where I've been searching. And what a dig it's been. I'm going to check that silver when I get home, clean that up. I'm sure it's a George II, the first one if ever. Oh, how exciting is that? But before I go, I think you better take a check out of some of these channels that have inspired me and I've got some fantastic content. I think you should check out these up here. And I also think you should check out these here. Really good. And not to forget, these up here, one of the best. Anyway, this is Dave from Carry On Searching, signing off till next time. See ya.